in this lesson we are going to talk about Q jobs in Laval. Now what are Q jobs? Let me show you for example. I'm going to come to discussions and then I'm going to view a discussion and I'm going to add a reply to this discussion. Look at how long it takes. It's actually taken a while because it takes a while to send this email over here. But we don't want this because now it's an email. It takes about five seconds and the user has to wait for five seconds. But sometimes it might be a job that is going to take about one minute to complete and the user can't stay there waiting for one minute, right? So what we want to do is use a queue job. And what is hap what, and what this means is this is going to be processed in the background while the user is still using the application. So instead of sending the email, we're not going to send the email immediately. We're going to push it to the queue job and then the queue job is going to send the email later as the user continues using the application so that the user can have a really good user experience. So let's go ahead and see how this works. The first thing we want to do is we want to go to the queue.php, which is a config, and then you're going to see the list of queue connections. So right here, the default is sync or we can get from the environment variable. So you can see there's a sync driver. And what this means is when the job is added to the queue, it's going to automatically start working, but the user's experience is going to continue. Okay. Then the database means it's going to save the job to the database. And then anytime we want, we can process it. We have bin stock, which is just, you know, like an advanced queue worker. We have SQS. We also have Redis, but what we're going to be focusing on is this two. The sync is the one that is working right now. When we send an email, it sends immediately. The database is going to store the job to the database and then send it later so that the user's experience can continue. I'm going to show you exactly how to use it. So we're going to come to both of our notifications. So app notifications and new reply added. And we are going to implement this shoot queue right here. So we're going to say implements shoot queue. And once we implement this, contract, Laval is automatically going to know every time this notification is dispatched, it shouldn't send it just yet. It should queue it. Okay. And then we're going to come to mark as best reply. And we're also going to do exactly the same thing. So here I'm going to say implements should queue. But if we go to the environment file right now, you can see that our queue connection is sync, but we don't want that because we, right now it's sync and it's sending the email exactly the same time as the user clicks on the button. But we're going to change this to database and I'm going to show you exactly how this is going to work. Okay. Then I'm just going to say add right here and you can see a list of queue commands and you can see queue table creates a migration for the queue jobs database table. So we're going to say PHP Addison queue table and you can see the migration has been created. If we check out the database migrations folder, you can see there's a jobs table. And what it's going to do is it's going to save a job and then process it later. Okay. So let's go ahead and do this. We're going to say art migrate to migrate that to the database. Okay. So now we have a jobs table. Let me show you what's going to happen. If I come right now and then I mark this reply as best reply. Look at that. Immediately it marked as best reply. It didn't waste time sending the email. And if we come now to mail trap, you can see that there's no email. The user did not receive an email. Okay. And if the user comes right here, checks the notifications, you can see that we don't have a notification for marked as best reply. You can check right here. There's no notification for marked as best reply because the user has not been notified yet. What Laval has done is it has saved this notification as a job to the jobs table. And anytime we want to process this job, that's when it's going to send the notification. Let me show you right now. If we go to our database, refresh this, you see that there's a jobs table and then there's two jobs right there. Look at that. We have reply marked as best reply job right there. Now, how do we tell Laval to process this job? We're going to say PHP Addison Q work. Okay. And let me just show you. If you do PHP Addison, you're going to see Q work right here. Say start processing jobs on the Q as a diamond, which means Lavo or the Q worker is going to be processing these jobs in the background. Okay. So I'm just going to say Q work. And you can see it starts processing all those jobs that have not been processed. You can see this one is processed. 
this one is processed and now if we come to mail trap you can see the notification right there your reply has been marked as best reply and if we come right now refresh this user's account this one you can see that we have a new notification and it says your reply has been marked as best reply and the user can view the discussion okay this is really awesome now look at what's gonna happen okay what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna open this up like this okay so that you can watch the action in the browser and the queue worker at the same time so watch the queue worker and then i'm gonna come to the browser visit the forum visit the discussions and i'm gonna visit this discussion by john doe and i'm gonna add a new reply and this should sh send a notification right so if i click on add reply you can see it sends immediately and then immediately it starts processing the job right there okay so the user does not wait for a second immediately the page refreshes and the user is back and then it starts the queue worker the queue worker starts the job right here and it's processing it in the background and then once it's done processing you can see right now if we check here you can see new reply added notification has been sent to john doe and also if we come to john doe's profile you can see a notification right there new reply was added all right guys so that's how queues work so instead of having notifications taking five to ten seconds to send you can start your queue worker and then have your jobs table and it's going to save the jobs to the jobs table and the queue worker is going to get those jobs from the jobs table and automatically process them all right all right guys so that was something really cool this is something that you're going to really need if you're going to build large scale applications okay and when you're deploying your lava applications you obviously are going to have to start your queue worker alongside your lavo application so that the queue worker can monitor this process okay so don't worry if we're gonna have a really long discussion about deploying applications i'm gonna teach you how to do this but the best and easiest way to do that is with lavo forge it makes this really easy all right guys